Now that you've searched and found resources, it's time to align them to the Common Core State Standards and evaluate them for quality. You can do this using the Achieve OER Quality Rubric tool that lives directly in OER Commons. We'll use the example of the Great Fire to model this process. Click on Evaluate Resource to begin the alignment and evaluation. You can easily toggle back and forth between the evaluation tool and the resource. This is the Guidelines and Reminders portion of the Evaluation Tool. As you're evaluating for the first time, read this section carefully. Your ratings will be saved and displayed for the entire OER community to see, so be thoughtful and thorough. For additional scoring and rubrics information, click on the OER Rubrics link at the bottom of the Evaluation Tool. Once you've read this section, click on Start Evaluating. The first step is alignment, deciding which standards the resource addresses. If you'd like to move on without aligning the resource to standards, click Skip is not applicable and move to Evaluation. This particular resource is aligned to the Common Core State Standards for English Language Arts because it's an example of an engaging and rigorous text. This resource is intended for 6th grade and it is aligned to the learning domain for reading for informational text. Select the standard or standards that the resource most closely aligns to. This resource relies heavily on textual evidence, so standard RI 6.1, Cite Textual Evidence, is the best alignment. When you click on the standard, you'll see it pop up in a yellow box in the upper right-hand corner. Then click Add Selected Tag. Click Return to Evaluation and the alignment will be completed. Now it's time to evaluate the quality of the resource using the seven Achieve rubrics. The first rubric looks at the degree of alignment to the standards. Since we've already aligned this resource, we can see the standard on the screen. Below the standard are the rubric ratings from 0 to 3, with a score of 0 being very weak and 3 being superior. If you move the cursor over the ratings, score descriptions will appear. Be sure to read the descriptions carefully before making a choice. To select the rating, click the button next to the rating. If the rubric doesn't apply to the resource, you can select Not Applicable. This particular resource is very closely aligned to the standard, so we will give it a superior rating of 3. If you'd like to provide an explanation of your rating or add additional information, you can click Comment, type in your comment, and click Save. To continue, click Save and go to Next Rubric. Rubric 2 refers to how well the subject matter is explained in the resource. Move over the score descriptions and select your score from 0 to 3, whichever best describes the resource that you're evaluating. This resource is clearly explained and easy to understand, so we'll give it a strong rating of 2. Rubric 3 is entitled Utility of Materials Designed to Support Teaching. This refers to the usability of the resource materials for teachers. Assess the resource carefully read the scoring descriptions, and make the best choice for your resource. We're giving this resource a strong rating of 2 because it includes a lot of helpful information to support teaching, but doesn't provide suggestions for ways to use this resource with a variety of learners. Once you've made your choice, be sure to click Save and go to Next Rubric. Rubric 4 looks at the quality of the assessment provided in the resource. This resource didn't include an assessment, so we'll select Not Applicable then click Save and go to Next Rubric. Rubric 5 explores the quality of technological interactivity. This is specifically for resources that have a technology-based component. This resource doesn't have a technology component, so we'll select Not Applicable, click Save, and go to Next Rubric. Rubric 6 addresses the quality of instructional and practical exercises. For example, if the resource contains instructional tasks intended to strengthen a skill or piece of knowledge, does it supply enough practice? Is the practice of high quality? As always, read the descriptions of the ratings carefully before selecting a score. This resource had limited exercises, so we'll give it a score of 1 and click Save and Go to Next Rubric. The final Rubric 7 addresses the opportunities for deeper learning in areas such as collaboration, communication, and real-world application. We'll give this resource a strong score of 2 for this rubric because it requires students to use abstract reasoning to come up with a solution. Then click Save and View Results. 
The evaluation is now complete. The final step in this process is to review and save the scores to the resource by clicking Finalize OER Review. Thank you for being a valued member of our OER community. Enjoy.